Um, my project is to make classrooms greener, and by doing that, I'm just kind of like reducing the amount of paper that we use. And some challenges is that a lot of people in the class have a Mac computer instead of Windows. So I'm trying to get a converter that will convert Windows to Mac. That way everyone can, um, can, can still have the same kind of for, um, formats for their work. So tell me about your 30 Ways in 30 Days project. Well, my 30 Ways in 30 Days project is to donate books to a homeless shelter. And who knows ne if the next homeless person who can read a book is, can cure cancer. So what kind of challenges or successes have you had so far? Some challenges is that it's not very known, like there's, because it, it's been on the announcements, but nobody's really contributed to it except Miss Standiford, and she, well, I went over there and talked to her personally, and she said she'd donate some, so. And then I talked to Miss, um, Mrs. Nall, but she, I haven't gotten a donation from her yet, and I've donated donated from some books, and my friend has too, but they're all grown-up books, so, yeah. Tell me about your 30 Ways in 30 Days project. My project is raising money for kids at a um, homeless school who don't have a playground, and it's going pretty well, and all this week I'm going to be collecting money in the NPR room and the front office. So I, I just talked to Miss Wells about it, getting it approved, and I got my face on the announcements. So it's going really good. So tell me about your 30 Ways in 30 Days project. Um, for my 30 Ways in 30 Days project, I am recycling around in the classroom and around the school and community. And... It's and also the parts of um, um, of my house. And tell me about some of the successes or challenges that you face so far. Um, some challenges I've like kind of recording in my notebook what I've done so far and um, setting up things and like. Like um, like when to do things like when I just lasted the interview, I it was kind of hard to set that up. And then successes I've done the interview and if it's been going really well. So tell me about your thirty ways in thirty days project. My thirty ways in thirty days project is educating young children about the earth, and I go around to their classrooms for three days and talk to them about the earth and uh, facts and stuff they can do to help it. And what kind of challenges or successes have you experienced so far? Uh, a few challenges is m making them listen because they're really, really hyper and they like jumping around and talking a lot. But they ask really, really, really good questions, and I don't even know some of the answers to them. Yeah, and it, my successes so far is actually that I've been to all the classes, and I've taught them all for the three days, and it all went really well.